What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Stunner Reese and I'm back, 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 back with another video. That's right, man. And today, your boy Stunner Reese, man, is getting out late, man. That's right, man. 6 48 in the evening. You see the damn near sun about to get up ready and go to sleep. That's right, man. But yeah, your boy Stunner Reese is out in Salsa and about to go ahead and get to a little footage, man. I just got word that they got a little car show going on at Prairie State College where Stunner Jam gonna be. So I said, let me go on, on over here, man, and see what's popping with this, man, to see how the flavor is and see, you know what I'm saying, how they got their setup is and everything. And, you know what I'm saying, bring you all this content, man. So I didn't even know nothing about this show. I just got a call about it, you know what I'm saying. I don't, you know, know how big or, or little it's going to be or anything, you know what I'm saying. It's just, I'm going to just go and check it out. So y'all just stick around for this whole entire video. Do yourself a big, huge favor right now, man. Hit that subscribe button and join the realest dude on YouTube, that's right, man. Your boy Stunner, yes, sir. Hit that uh, channel, subscribe, and definitely turn the post notifications to all so you can become a real one and don't miss none of these bangers that your boy Stunner Reese be dropping on you, man, all right? And then uh, don't forget, also, drop a comment. Drop multiple comments. Drop in the comments right now. I'm a real one if you're a real one. And also, don't forget to hit that like button right now, man. We're trying to get a 1,000 likes on this video guys that's my goal man let's try to get to a thousand likes so uh y'all already know it's about to go down man right after this lit ass intro let's get to it yeah. Pro skater, baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all on my floor. I got money on the line, plus I'm clocking the below. I got bitches kissing, bitches all them bitches go explore. I'm feeling way up. I stay up. Put your bitch on my Snapchat. What I fuck, I make her. She want a chance with me, cause she know I'm a rapper. I give a dick, but I never get feelings, cause shorty, I know what you after. Squizzy, man. How y'all feeling? How y'all living, man? Hoping y'all feeling and living good, man. Because I am definitely feeling and living good, man. Just having another blessed day, man, in my body. My health is good. My family health is good. I got my sanity. got a roof over my head, man. And I'm just bit real grateful, man, uh, for everything. Everybody, man, who constantly supports your boy Stunner Reese, man, on my journey. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people on YouTube got a lot of different journeys, man. A lot of different journeys. Um, and, um, yeah, mine is quite different from everybody else, man. Um, just got a whole lot of stuff going on, man. Y'all know, as y'all been seeing, there's a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, you know what I'm saying? In the news and the Illinois bill and all this kind of stuff that's, that's supposed to be passed on the first and stuff like that. So, you know, just, man, just a lot of, lot of things behind the scenes that, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, gotta get yourself situated. So, you already know, man, what it is. Hey, only the strong survive. That's just how it is. And uh, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You got to prepare your family and yourself to be strong. Um, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You got to do certain things. Um, but you, you got to, first and foremost, man, make sure you know the laws, guys. Make sure you know the laws. I want all of my people, man, especially everybody who in Chicago, who, who, who around me and, and who be out or whatever, man, know your laws. Also, if you have the ability to get you a conceal and carry and a Ford car and a weapon, do it. Don't wait. Go ahead, apply, get it done now. All right. And in, in any city you in, man, it, not just in Illinois, but any city you in, man, if you have the ability to, um, you know, Utilize your Second Amendment, man, and protect yourself. Make sure you go ahead and do that ASAP, man. Do not hesitate. Do not wait. Again, you never know 
what people's uh, hidden agendas is in certain situations and scenarios. Um, and that's all I can say, man. But you got to be able to know that if our people, um, and we made it through 400 years of slavery, you know what I'm saying? The slavery, I mean, ain't all the way over or whatever by a long shot. But just know that, you know what I'm saying? We went through some tough shit. We went through some tough shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, legally getting hung and killed every day. So, just just understand, man. If we went through that, just know that we could do it, man. Hey, God put every single one of us in a certain time of the world to handle what he has in store or what he lets go on. Because it might not be him that that is, you know what I'm saying, putting these things in place or whatever. But trust me, he still make you, you know, built to go through it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in, in certain ways and forms and fashion. So just know, man, it, you know, the bigger picture will come out. The Like I told y'all, man, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things that you just don't know, you know what I'm saying, with certain you know, people be doing, and that, that's all I'm gonna say, because I don't want to say nothing to trigger the algorithm and trigger, you know what I'm saying, things to start, you know, hey, hey, he giving out too much, much information, man, but just know, man, listen, just know, <laughs> shit is super planned, bruh, super, super planned, super planned, so many of these states, man, is, is doing radical shit right now, and radical stuff, um, to, uh to just, you know what I'm saying, push everybody button, man, and, and put people in forms of panic. Again, it started in 2020. Well, it didn't start in 2020, but look at that sun, y'all. Look at that red sun. The sun is super red. I wish y'all could see it. It's the color I see it. So it don't look the same in the camera. But, hey, first you put people in panic and put them in fear and they become weak. Um, so, you know, that's just some of the, some of the, some of the things of winning wars and, and things like that and breaking people down and it's, it's a psychological war and a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? Psych psychological shit coming into play with a lot of different stuff, y'all, y'all just, y'all just gotta be prepared, man. It's, it's not, a lot of stuff is, is a cover up for a real hidden agenda, you know what I'm saying? If you got certain, if you got certain hoods and certain places, you know what I'm saying, and people getting a certain uh, type of people that's on, you know, social media that's known to have stuff and and do different things and, and stuff like that, uh, start getting attacked on the regular or whatever because of what people per perceive or. Per persona or whatever, you know what I'm saying, okay, we, we opening the doors up for easy targets for certain people, and hey, you know what I'm saying, you just gotta understand, you know what I'm saying, oh, we gonna, we gonna let everybody wipe them people out, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, like, you just never know, you know, you never know, and then to say that you have to now make your own description on what level of force you want to do to protect yourself and I may be saying it incorrectly or wrong but that's kind of how I took it um so you know what I'm saying and if I took it like that I mean I'm pretty sure somebody else I'm not the only person in the world who took it like that I can't be the only person in the world who took it like that so if I'm saying it incorrectly um then please correct me in my comments or whatever but again un is the overlay for the underplay. You know what I'm saying? Let me do this up here. Yeah. So we can slide this in under there. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. So yeah, just be careful, man. But but we not gonna get into that, man, and keep all that shit going, man. We finna get into some positive stuff, man. I'm excited about Stunner Jam this weekend. Four states checked in so far. Uh just had some heat people hit me up, man, about pre-registration and everything and bringing the cars out early and everything like that listen y'all hey all i all i can say is when the space is gone the space is gone you know what i'm saying like this is a bigger spot than i had last year but still we last year we turned away over 200 cars we turned away over 200 cars because we was over capacity 
So, you know, I, I can only do what I can do, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I can only do what I can do. And, and um, you know, I'm very, very grateful for Prairie State and the union at Prairie State, you know what I'm saying, for allowing us to do this event here. And, um, man, I'm excited, man. And I thank y'all so much, man. I thank all the love, all the people resharing the posters, uh, resharing the flyers, you know what I'm saying, letting your people know about it, all the people who are sharing it in the Facebook groups and everything. Man, I, I just want to tell y'all I, I appreciate y'all so much. I really do. And I'm very grateful to everybody who uh, plans on coming out this weekend. Uh, spectators is free. We do have a, a $5 donation if you want to make a donation to HBC. Uh, HBCU uh, College, man. Uh, we're going to be doing a donation for a scholarship fund. If you guys want to be a part of that, man, feel free. Go to uh, my website, www.stunnerreach.com, and make a $5 donation, man. $5. Not asking for much. Um, the show is, is spectators is free. But if you want to be a part of that, you know, and if, you know, even if you're not coming to the show and you want to be a part of that, feel free make a little five dollar donation guys i really do appreciate that all right well yeah gang that's what it is um so yeah but yeah man we almost here man i'll be uh turning the camera back on when we get to the actual location all right i'll let y'all peace all right gang -ga gang -ga gang -ga gang gang wow they got a nice little crowd going on right here yeah yeah, 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 ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Look like a lot of Corvettes. But yeah. Let me see how they got they shit blocked off and everything. Okay. Oh, okay. They only get using that one part of the lot. Yeah, they only using the one part of the lot. Yeah, see, we gonna be using that part. They using this part right here, that part over there, and that part way over there. Yeah, we gonna be using it all. Okay, okay. But hey, it is good to come out here and see kind of what they got going on and uh you know what i'm saying let's see what we see all right let me get parked i'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute let's go y'all all right gang we out here look at this drop to the ground 64 impala this thing is nice 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 paint nice color Drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about that color, man. You look Revere. Nice and clean, nice and clean. <laughs> sure, for sure. Drop in the comments section and let me know if y'all like this body style Rivy. A lot of people like the, the newer ones, the ones that came after these, which I do too, but uh, let me know how many of my Buick fans like this body style. Got some cars pulling out over there. Monte Carlo, Impala. Oh, look at this low rider Caddy. This thing nasty right here. Oh, he real low rider. Real, real low rider. That boy nasty. Look at that paint, y'all. <laughs> People talk about paint. This dude paint flawless, flawless. With a lot of work going on in it, too. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still rocking pretty much the factory interior. Got the new top on there. Sound system with the pumps. Touch of God. Gold. Okay, touch of gold. Okay. Yeah. That boy nasty right there. Yeah. Big nasty. Got another one over here. Lincoln. Shit, we squat salsa like this, y'all. The big gap in the front like that. Just joking, just joking, y'all. Just joking, man. Don't get on my case, y'all. Another low rider right here. Clean, clean. Clean. Something different, something different. Got another little challenger coming out. We're gonna go down this row and we're gonna come up the other row. C7, little wheels and lights on it. <laughs> nice clean. Another one right here. Vet gang for real. Vets take over whenever they come to a show. Same engine as uh, Drac right there, y'all. LS3. Z06 right here, big boy. LT4. Nice engine cover painted to match the car. So this song is over, the trivia question is next. It's a small sweatshirt though, so you want it? That's cool. It's coming up in four minutes. Grand Sport.
that six vert. Got the little spoiler on the side, on the front, I'm sorry. Custom hair rest. No. Yeah, it's nice. Nice orange one right here. What's crazy is like a show like this, guys, is so hard to judge because all the cars are really minimalist and uh not a lot of aftermarket parts is not really considered like a corvette show uh i mean i'm sorry a custom show is more of a corvette show i guess so you know you're looking at a lot of little small things which is cool what you have to do on regular judging but yeah this is just uh you know it's, it's not a show that everything just pops out at you and you could just make oh look at this look versus look at this it's not like that it's it's a lot like look at this car this car is pretty much a stock car but it's in the show you know it's just a corvette same with this one you know so you don't have a lot of a lot of aftermarket stuff to like really give extra points on other than cleanliness I mean, he's got the tinted tail lights in the back. That's a little orange. Orange right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, in my eyes, like, how do you judge um, one clean car? Versus another clean car, if they both clean and they both suck, who gets the, the W, who gets the L, you know, so. Custom shows, a little bit different. But it does make the cars that's really customized stand out, you know, above the ones who are stock. Like he's got aftermarket wheels, aftermarket brake cover, covers, uh, it looks like an aftermarket uh, front chin uh, spoiler and side rocker panels. Um, look like it's a carbon fiber wrap up there, but it's, it's got like a little fault in right there. Tint at windows, rear side markers colored, rear spoiler added. But uh, don't look like too much other than that. And then we got a nice red. C7 convertible right there. But yeah, like I said guys, it's uh it's different man. It's different ways to judge, different, you know, uh, people different people like different things, you know what I'm saying? People who come to this kind of show probably wouldn't be a very good judge at a uh, you know big wheel show or you know what I'm saying more of an urban show, you know. So it is what it is. Nice little Ford Falcon right here. These cars pretty much competed with the Novas. This boy's clean, clean here. Yeah. Nice, original. I like the brush, uh, bronze uh, front. That color, it goes good with this green. Straight six engine. That is nice. Real nice right here. H1 Hummer. What up, man? How you doing, bro? Chilling. You good? Yes, sir. It's you? Yes, sir. That mug, nice right there. Thank you. Real nice.
No, we're doing a show out here Sunday. Sunday, yeah. 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 That's nice too, Nova. Now these are pretty much two rival cars. This one was from Chevy, that one was from Ford. But these two cars pretty much rivaled each other. Uh, when they were made, you know what I'm saying? They were competitors. Uh, yeah, which one you going with? Ford Falcon or Chevy Nova? Which one? Drop in the comments. Ford Chevy. My dad used to have one of these. I can't remember if his had the luggage rack on the back. So many memories. He actually had two of these. If I'm not mistaken, a silver one and a black one, if I'm not mistaken. Nice Chevy truck right here. This thing is clean. Clean, clean. Original, old school style. Now I can't tell y'all if this is original, you know, color paint or nothing. You know, but it's definitely got the old school style. The big white wall, fire stones on there. Bias plies. Straight engine. No V's back then. Well, I don't know if they had the V when this came out. But yeah, this one had the straight. Crazy. Oh, we got a big wheel car right here. F body. Mero. White on white. Mm -hmm. White interior accents on the door panels. Look like some 20, maybe some 24s. Nice stereo system back here. Well, just the display of it, nice. Oh my God, wishbones, man. I ain't seen wishbones in so long. Thank you, Mr. Hey, School right there. Old schooly schooly. That's a classic right there. I don't know if that's an Excalibur. It might be an Excalibur. Yeah, it is an Excalibur, if I'm not mistaken. My dad used to want one of these Excaliburs. How you doing? Yeah, it look good. That's an Excalibur, right? Excalibur? Yeah. Yeah, I remember my my dad used to want one of these really bad, yeah, back in the day, when I was a kid. Yeah, this is nice, man. Keep it up, man. All right. All right. You know it's a big show going on here Sunday, too. Well. Right here, Sunday. Big show, over 100 some trophies. Oh, yeah? Yeah. $500 best of show. Uh, what time 30, is it? it starts at uh, noon. It's from noon to 6. Yeah, no, it's, it's from noon to six. So, yeah, if you bring it out, man, they got a classic car uh, category. Oh, I, you got a good chance. And they got $500 cash. Best of show. Hey, I got trophies now. I'm so I ain't into trophies. I don't care about that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this this is a nice piece, though. Well, like, like I said, they got... Oh, yeah. Well, hey, it's going to be over probably three, 400 cars out here Sunday. Yeah. All right. He over there showing out. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh. 
wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, gang. Hold up, hold up, gang. Hold up, gang. Hold up, gang. Okay, 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 okay. What the? Oh my God. No, they didn't. Yeah. I like the wood wheel. Look at that. Custom. Look, that one is mine, this one is his. Oh. Well, I drive this one because I can't do those wheels. Oh, okay. Yeah, this thing is super custom right here. <laughs> yeah. Super custom. Details, y'all. Look at the details. Got the TVs in the doors. Yeah, I see. Yeah, he got. Yeah, he got a lot of work in this, right? Yeah. Yeah. All the TVs do work. Oh, this is nice. Oh, and the visor too? Oh, wow. He wilding out, huh? He went all out. Yeah. TV. He got the key. He got the key. Yeah, he got the double den, two double den radios. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let him enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? He making it unique. He making it unique. They say you have to make a car the way you want. Exactly. stuff, they just... Some like the char challenges and char they not always all that unless you do something different to it. That's true. That's and true. If you ain't gonna do nothing to it, then how is that a winner? Right. Absolutely. I agree. You gotta you personalize can, it. You gotta you personal. Got to personalize you gotta it, personalize, so. yep. That's the only that's the only way I see it. I agree. I agree. All right, enjoy the rest of the show. Ooh, old Starsky and Hutch wheels, y'all. Drop in the comments if y'all remember the TV show Starsky and Hutch, man. If y'all remember those wheels. I used to love those wheels. Man, I actually wanted those wheels on my first car. I was like, man, if I could get some Starsky and Hutch wheels. Yeah. Man, just so many memories. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean-ass Malibu right here, though. No cap. Hey, I honeymooning. Ninety-eight. Customized. Big bag. Big flags. Yeah. We got another. Another little. Um. F body over here. Not sure if it's a V8 or V6, but it's clean. That's for sure. Whoever had it uh, definitely took care of it. Definitely took care of it. What the hell the police doing? What the hell? Oh hell no! What they? What are they doing? Police always messing up something. But yeah, gang, Prairie State College, man, automotive technology program. Google that, I'm sure. There's some uh, good stuff to come out of that. Yeah. But yeah, gang, I think I didn't cover the whole show, man. I appreciate y'all rocking out with me today on the show. At this show, I mean. And then uh, I'll highlight y'all on this video. Some more Stunner Reef checking out, man. I'm out, man. Peace. Today's video is brought to us by the Street Whip Stunting Facebook group. If you're into custom cars, the Big Wheel culture, Big Wheel racing, or anything customized with cars, motorcycles, and trucks, make sure you join the Facebook group Street Whip Stunting. You can post all your pictures, all your videos, and it's free. So definitely click the link in the description of this video and join the Facebook group Street whip stunting. Hey, hey, hey.
Okay, uh, subscribe, share. Uh, what does it like for you, nigga? Like. Yeah, subscribe, square, like. Square? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, subscribe, subscribe, square. Yes, yeah, subscribe, share, and like. Square. So it ain't it, 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 it's square. <laughs> it's square. And share. Alright, subscribe to my man. <laughs>